So I'm back from break, everybody, and as I as I come back, it looks like Papa Vera left the game. He says that he got booted. I guess when I came back from break, it gave him Da's boot. That's interesting that it would do that. So I guess what we'll do is we will re-invite him to the game, and then, well, actually, you know what I should do? I should sleep first, then re-invite him to the game. I wonder why that, that is if I go on a break and I come back and boot someone from my world. That's kind of weird. All right, let's re-invite him. You know, first time I'm ever doing this, so we're seeing how it works. All right, the invite should have gone out, I hope. If not, Papa Vera, let me know again, and I'll try again. I can always just quit out of the game and go back in if I need to. I don't know exactly what's going on right now, why I did that. In the meantime, i got to unload this inventory. Okay. Inactivity, I see. Because of the inactivity... Here you go, he joined. I guess because of inactivity because I was on break, the game timed me out and therefore it timed him out. <clears throat> That's weird. What the? Alright. Let us get everything in order here. Unload the fish. <laughs> Unload. Where's the other fish? The fish. My nose is itching. I don't know where I got these from. I certainly didn't fish those out of the water, did I? That's weird. Put that up there. More bowls. <laughs> Just the most random items. Bowls. Weird shit. Lily Patch should be in. Not oh, crap. Lily Patch should be in here. And. Oh, wait, there's more fish. Raw salmon. What's this? A water bottle. Well, all the other odds and ends I gotta have to put over here because I have no room. To put them in the other thing. Yeah, I'm completely out of space. And then I need to get back the... Uh, oh, egg here. There we go. I need to go get... I'll go back to remember that I had put a chest over there with all my stuff in it. So, Okay. We continue on here, guys. <clears throat> here we go. Alrighty, my friends, let's go continue with this mob spawn. Excuse me, I keep calling it a mob spawner. With this villager spawner that we're going to start work on today. I don't know, we've got about an hour and 15 minutes left on today's extended Minecraft stream. I don't know how much we'll get done, but the good news is next week, same time, same place, we're continuing on with another extended Minecraft stream. So whether or not we do more work on the Greco-Roman structure or we just focus solely on the uh spawner here we should get some good stuff done right okay here we are all right let's grab everything back yoink 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 okay now what's next we were oh that's right we were doing the 11 by 11 room but it started raining so i stopped so let's continue on with what we were doing here why aren't I responding to a raid? Because I didn't even notice there was a raid. I was busy getting reset up from break. Evil Equilibrium does a raid every day with the Praying Frog emotes from his channel. And some regulars come in and they all do the, the Praying Frogs. It's nice. Thank you for, for people coming in. I appreciate it. I mean, they're mostly doing it to get attention, but it's fine. I don't mind it. There's the Praying Frog emotes. Told ya. All right, Papa Vera, so you might focus on the farms. Fair enough, Papa Vera, if that's what you'd like to do. And improve the farms. I don't know what you've been doing in the two hours that I was playing earlier. Okay. Tearing down these walls. I wonder what he'll do to improve our farms. I have no idea. There's two farms, one back at spawn and one here in the village. And we just recently improved the one here in the village last week. So I, I wonder what he would improve further. <clears throat> Why was that hard? I'm, I'm, I'm just saying I have no idea what Papa Vera's been working on for two hours. So I don't know if he was uh, if he was in those other villages we were talking about or whatever. I haven't been following what he's doing. I'm kind of doing my own thing. So that's not harsh. That's me stating a fact. Why is it stating facts today 
people think that's like harsh like what should i do just like every word out of my mouth should be a fallacy or me kissing someone's butt or can i just state facts is that acceptable in today's society to just like state a fact like this pickaxe breaks rocks oh god phil come on man uh, fuck what are you doing phil <laughs> jesus you guys all right i think our 11 by 11 room is now open okay Okay. Alright, so... From the corner of the room opposite of the tunnel entrance, dig a 9 by 9 area, one block deep. This later will become a farm plot, but we'll, we'll go back to it later. Alrighty. So, 9 by 9 starting right here. Okay. Good. That's right, because everyone are snowflakes. That's right. <laughs> it's not a condescending. It wasn't. Just because you guys are constantly thinking the worst doesn't mean that's reality. You know what I mean? Like, because, oh, that must be condescending. It's not. I'm not condescending at all. I'm stating a fact, and you guys want to believe drama, so you create it where it doesn't exist in order to try to push your own agendas, and that's not how life works. Just because you're an idiot doesn't mean that the idiocy that you're spreading is true. <laughs> Sorry. That was condescending, by the way. That was intended to be condescending, calling you an idiot if you think that, because you are an idiot. <laughs> If literally all you do is you turn every single thing in life into something negative because you want drama constantly, you're an idiot. Like, I don't know what else to say. You're a dumbass. And that's the, not the kind of stuff that I, I do on my streams, and you guys know that. So, I'm not even paying attention. What? Donnie to me a dollar thirty and says, what's a pederast Walter? I have no idea what the fuck that means. But thank you for the tip. We're up to $105 in tips today. Thank you, guys. Reminder, if we do happen to double the tips goal, I'll put on the gunner glasses. That's the tier two goal uh, reward. Not that that's a big deal. I'm just saying it'll happen if we do. It's just a statement of fact. Okay, so I guess I should put down some more torches. He's got them in, in various corners here. He's got one here. Oh, shit. No, he doesn't. Screw that up. Shit. Let me take these down, and I'll put them in better places. Okay, so we got one there, and then we got one right here, and then we've got one kind of in the middle, like here, and then we've got one, it's basically like in the center, one, two, three, so right here, yep. Father says, I'm gathering resources, the next two streams will try to get as far as I can with getting resource farms and auto farms done. Um, some are big, and I think I'll help with it, sounds good. Hey, man. The thing is, when people watch, they don't necessarily want to just see me do resource grinds. I get the feeling people want to see, you know, fun stuff. So the more fun stuff we can do and not have to do resource grinds, the better, right? Cool. Okay. Uh, I can't... I can't... The... Are you? I have no idea. I, think, I can't... Oh, I can't hear you. Boy, I'm stupid. I can't hear you as how much longer is this stream and how long is my... Li oh, when does my night stream start? This stream will run till 4 p.m. Pacific time. So about a little over an hour. The late stream turns on around 6.45 p.m. Pacific time. Has a little bit of, a, of an intro. And usually gameplay will start around 7.15 p.m. Pacific time. And runs for about two hours. Okay? That's later tonight. Um, Liquid Richard tipped me $3. And um, he's basically talking about private stuff that has nothing to do with him. He's trying to get personal information out of me. Which I'm not going to answer. Because it's personal information. He thinks I'm stupid and I'm not. So I'm going to say thanks for the $3 stupid person trying to, to meddle in my business. Okay. What's next? Ooh. All right. As the last step for now. At that far wall. So that would be this wall over here. Which somehow isn't exactly right. I guess it doesn't have to be exactly right. But this is the wall he's talking about. Make the ceiling one. Wait. No, he's talking about over here. Right? No, this is confusing. What? This looks exactly right. What I'm looking at right now looks exactly right to what Papa Vera asked to do. But then when I go to the next one, it looks completely different. How is that possible?
Did I count wrong? No, this doesn't make sense because the room was supposed to be 11 by 11. It was. Then I was supposed to dig a 9 by 9. I did, yet in the picture Papa Vera is showing, there's an extra block over here. Like this wall is sunken in by one more block. I have no idea why would that be possible. It definitely is three blocks deep, but mine isn't. So I guess I need to knock down this wall by one more block. I don't know why this is. Because he's saying the 1737 wall. So it's actually supposed to be two more blocks deep. This wall's supposed to be at 1737, so we'll just do that, okay? annoying gravel I need to get rid of, it looks like. Yeah, see? I gotta get rid of all that gravel. I might have to put, put ceiling blocks down, too, to block off any potential things dropping in unexpectedly, right? Okay. Yeah, see all this gravel? Oh, it's annoying, man. So this wall's supposed to be 1737. So that's where it's supposed to be. Okay. Um, Shell Con Artist is here. What's going on, Shell Con Artist? He tipped me six dollars. So how's it going? Glad to see the vest streak still going strong. We had to go before the break. Do you keep the vest on during the break? No, I take the vest off during the break. That's, the vest is for the office. The rest of the house is not air conditioned. I'm not gonna walk around the house with a vest on. <laughs> All right. So we're up to 114 dollars in tips. Thank you guys for the support. All right, so. Whoa. Oops. Okay, now I gotta break all this gravel and I'm gonna build a ceiling to fix this and make it become the, the room it's supposed to be. Yeah. Look at all, oh my god, look at all this gravel that came out of the ceiling. It's a ton. I gotta get rid of all this. <laughs> Papa Vera says the wider floor is because there's gonna be beds on this wall. I see. There's gonna be some beds over here. Get rid of all this gravel. Arch Chicken says, what if you wore the West during the winter? You wouldn't need an air conditioner in the office? I mean, well, I don't use the air conditioner during the office during the winter anyway. <laughs> so, yeah. I got raw coal. Coal popped up out of nowhere. So is this 1737? It is. Okay. That's what I need. 1737 wall. So let's now build. Alright. That's now correct. Now what I need to do is fix this. Fuck. Oh, shit. I guess I could just use dirt. Oh, no. I got cobble. We'll use cobble. All right, except for that one. It's not supposed to be there. So there's the 1737 wall, and what means these these torches should be pushed back a bit. Like that. All right, now let's take a look and see if this looks like his room. Yeah, I would say that's pretty accurate to what he's showing here. Okay, crap, I just closed it. Uh, I need to sleep, too. Okay. Alright, so now... Let's sleep. Where's my bed? God damn this stupid pick. Get out of here. <laughs> Get out of here. So this troll is continuing to chip me and ask me personal stuff that I'm not answering. <laughs> He's an idiot. I'll still add his amount to the uh, to the tips total though. So thank you for another five dollar tip. But I'm not going to talk about financial stuff behind the scenes again. I, you're an idiot. Okay. 
Okay. So, now, I need to go over here, and I'm being told that I need to get one, one block higher from where I am right now. Of course, what sucks is I'm going to have to fill in those holes. That's okay. Just one block higher here. Hello, Brisk Iced Tea. How's it going? Lipton? Is it Lipton Brisk? I used to drink Lipton Brisk. I liked it. I don't know what's better. Nesty or Lipton Brisk Iced Tea? I don't know. Polish Frog says, I think I'll start wearing the vest outside during wintertime. No, the vest is for the streams. The vest is a stream exclusive. Okay. So now that area is one higher. See that? This taller ceiling area is where beds will go. We'll come back to this later. For now, all this was to get blocks to use for another project. We'll jump to the project to make some resource farms near the village. Take the blocks you've got here and store them away somewhere. Okay. Alright, now, we're working on resource farms. Good lord. Use the sand that I got from the desert to make glass. Well, that's something I need to do first before I do anything, right? So the sand that I got from the desert... Uh-oh. That ain't here. That's back at the spawn. I didn't take that with me. What am I doing? <laughs> I'm doing the opposite. Put all this stuff away. But I'm going to take the ender chest with me. Okay. So let's see here. Wow, I'm going to need two chests. Five stacks of fencing. Excuse me. Five stacks of, of wood walls, it looks like. Thirteen fences. Three stacks of dirt. One, I, what it seems, it looks like redstone. Two chests, five hoppers, five pistons. Nine repeaters. I don't even know how to do this stuff. Nine to eleven beds. Oh, God. There's so much I need. Oh, my God. There's so many resources, dude. This is a ridiculous amount of resources. Wow, this is going to be nuts. There's, just to tell you, Papa Vero, with the only hour I have left on the stream, I would doubt I'm going to be able to even get the resources together for this. This is like a daunting task, the amount of resources I need. Just to give you guys some perspective, I need 64 glass panes, or glass blocks, I can't tell. A redstone block, three stacks of dirt, 13 pieces of fencing, or carpeting. Five stacks of wooden walls, two chests, five hoppers, five pistons, nine repeaters, nine to eleven beds, six and a quarter stacks each of what appears to be sand, but I guess it could be it could be stone. I guess we think you could do any of those, sand or stone. Five buckets full of water, five buckets full of lava, sixty-four redstone, one point five stacks of seeds, sixty-four oak saplings. Two stacks of torches and one redstone torch. Wow. That's a lot of shit. Like, this is like, wow. That is gonna take me not I would I'm not even gonna finish that on this stream. There's no way. The good news is I'm playing Minecraft as the main gameplay stream on Mondays for the next two to three weeks. Okay? But there is zero chance that I'm getting any of the, all those resources together. So, Papa Bear, just so you know, I appreciate you started writing all the next instructions for once I have those resources. That's there's no way I'm getting that much in one in one stream. So I'll work, start working on this now. The first thing I really need to do, I guess, is head back to the village and grab the sand to make the glass, and then I can start working on everything else. 
I also am going to need a lot of wood to make these wood walls, because I don't think I have any wood walls whatsoever. Some of the items need wool to make. I'm pretty sure I have wool. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> RPG fan to 32 has subscribed to the channel. Thank you, RPG fan. So now this troll is basically doing troll tips and saying they're going to charge back. I'll tell you what a chargeback is. A chargeback is when someone who outright during a live stream tips me, there's legal evidence that they did because I can directly correlate what they're saying to their tip because the idiot put a message that would allow me to directly identify them as the tipper. And when they try to charge it back, they basically lie to PayPal and say, oh, I did that in error or, oh, you know, uh, they didn't shout me out. But I can legally prove that I did, and when I do, I win the chargeback and keep the money. So to you, Mr. Troll, who's a complete bumfuck idiot, what a chargeback is is when an idiot like you t gives me money, tries to get it back, and I keep it because you're an idiot. That's what a chargeback is. You see? You think you're smart, and you're not. You're a complete dumb fuck. And I'm going to keep all the money that you cheered, or that you tipped today because I can prove it because you're an idiot who kept the same name every time you did it. So I can prove that it's you in a pattern, and I'm going to keep all your money, you dumb fuck. What a complete idiot. All right. So, Baba Vera says, You should be able to make most of it with logs, cobble, and iron. You can smelt some stuff while you're getting wood. I explained how to get a lot of wood quickly. Yeah, you said to grow some spruces or whatever. I think I'll be all right. I think if I head back to the, um, the spawn, I already have more than enough trees in that general area that I can chop down. Um, and that's where I need to go back to the spawn to get the sand anyway, so I guess that's what I'm going to do now. Wait, where am I going? I need to go back to the spawn. I gotta go this way. I gotta use the nether. Okay. Hello, Zephyrus. How's it going today? All right. Alrighty, guys. Our little shortcut. Yet again, this is like, what, the third, fourth time we're doing this today? Do you see how useful this shit is? Seriously. Class, if you want, you can look for worlds for me to play on the late stream of Mario Maker 2, but like I said, our focus is I'm going to be messing around with pre-created worlds that people have designed that look like, you know, Super Mario 3 or Super Mario World World, and I don't know if that's going to be the entirety of the stream. It, might, it very well might be. So I don't want you to do work and then you know, get upset if I don't actually use what you suggested. I already have two other people who sent me a bunch of worlds they suggested via email that I can reference too, so. What's up, Vacuum Toto? Good evening. Or I say good evening. It's only 3 p.m. for me, but hope you're doing well. Okay, so, uh, I gotta get the sand, and then I gotta turn it into glass. I don't know if it's glass panes, or if it's glass blocks I'm making, though. It's not clear in the picture. I'm assuming it's glass blocks. Alright, so I need to make a stack, which means I need to spread this out among my furnaces. Well, I fucked up there. I'm going to do 16, but I'm an idiot. Wow, excuse me. That's absolutely disgusting. I'm sorry, guys. Glass blocks is popping very cool. That's what I figured. Let's get those smelting. 
All right, so while that's going, three stacks of dirt. I'm fairly sure I can get that together quickly. I'm not worried. Five stacks of wooden walls. Right? That's what that is. It's a wall post. That's going to be daunting. I'm definitely going to need wood. Because I'm almost positive I have almost no wood. Yeah, I'm almost positive I'm going to have to go cut down some wood. You know, it is what it is. <clears throat> yeah, I've got like nothing. So... Do I have any axes? Here's an axe. Here's an axe. Here's an axe. I have three stone axes. That's not a lot. But I guess I'll do as much as I can. And I'll have to come back and get more if I need them. But I'm going to cut down as much as I can with three stone axes. All right. <laughs> All right, well, It's Just Christopher says, 6 o'clock here in Toronto. I want to say we love you, Phil. Well, thank you. It's Just Christopher. Appreciate that. Technically, we don't have to correspond our sleeping, but I guess it makes sense to do so. I mean, you can see so much better in the daytime anyway. So here we go. This is what I mean. Like, I knew that there was going to be trees here. So I'll just chop all these down, and then I'll replant some. Oh, oh, oh Liquid Richard. You seem to have to become so quiet. After I completely fucking destroyed you on stream when you asked what a chargeback was, where did you go? Did you lose your way? <laughs> what happened? Is your butt still sore? I'm sorry. Maybe next time don't fuck with me on my own stream, okay? Maybe you'll learn your lesson this time. Stupid shit. <laughs> Alrighty then. God, people are dumb. Alright. Oh, there's two connected trees. Look at that. There we go. Chopping down the trees. Of course he left the building because he's not going to chip again because he now realized I'm going to keep his fucking money. He's like, oh shit, well, I already wasted like 20 bucks on this stream. I feel stupid now. So of course now he's not going to talk shit with tips anymore because I'm keeping all his money. Idiot. Uh -huh. There's a sapling. Did I get it? I got it. Good, because I need the saplings as well as the wood. No, you see what Death Bruce says Minecraft stream seems to bring out the devil in people. Yeah, because what it is is, here I am, I'm having chill fun. You guys are having fun with me. We're interacting. We're having a good a good time. I got a lot done on the stream today. Papa Vera joined our world for the first time, which is a really neat, unique thing, right? So it's a really good stream, so they think they're going to come in and try to, like, fuck with me and ruin it now. And uh, it ain't going to happen, you know? It ain't going to happen. It ain't going to ruin my chill vibe on my nice Minecraft stream. Jackie's first says he's made some homemade chicken casserole. That sounds good. Aha, I was going to say, the seedlings fall out of the trees, right? Yes. These seedlings fall out of the trees that you chop down. Let me grab them. I'm going to have to replant them. So let me grab what I can grab now and replant after they all this falls apart. In the meantime, I can probably just chop a little bit more over there. 
There's a lot of trees behind the Greco Roman structure that we finished. <laughs> Yes, I will. I'll definitely replant Papavera. Definitely replant. All right, here's some trees. There we go. These I've never cut down before because they were in the water. Rude place for that type of tree to grow. Some more over here. Zephyrus, I'm sorry to hear about all these creatures in your house. Chut. So, Gerard Crow Trees, I don't know if you've heard about this or not. There are two options for seeing the new content when the next update hits. You can either venture out far enough in both the overworld and the nether that brand new chunks generate, or you can start a new world, and I assume you'll be doing the former. Yeah, there's no way I'm going to start a new world, dude. How am I on iron? Shit, I didn't bring it with me. I'm, I had a good amount. I think I had roughly just under a stack of iron. Um, But I, th I didn't bring it with me. Because I'm only basically here to smelt that glass and to get wood. So, I'm pretty sure I left it back at the village. Probably versus you got tons. Cool. Hey, man, whatever. Whatever you could share. Oh, shit. Now, here's where I got to be careful. This stupid ass gorge, right? There's some perfectly good trees right there, but this gorge wants to fuck me over and get me killed. So what I should do is grab some dirt and make like a dirt path for now. See you later, Aero. Aero Zenzin. It's so hard to say your name, dude. Seriously, but I'll see you. I'll see you tonight. Hopefully, you'll be here for Mario. Project Aqua says, cheers to dab, dab on stream to those trolls. Now, the dabbing ran out. Like, people thought dabbing was was uh, something to do for a while. And even on stream, people asked me to dab for a bit. Seems like it completely died out. No one really cares about dabbing anymore. I think the vest has just completely destroyed everything else. No one cares about dabbing. But today is not my birthday, but thanks anyway. I know I have a DSP dab emo. See, it's old. The old shit. That's that old shit. We gotta move on to the new shit. The new hotness. Knows nobody choose you. Which game are you most excited of between? Lost of Us 2 or Ghost of Tsushima? I don't know. I haven't really followed news. I'm telling you guys, like, I, these days I don't. I try not to follow too much news in regards to these games because I feel it's too much, too much spoilers. So I seriously try not to, to even, you know, pay attention to the news about these games so that way I don't get spoiled on what they're gonna be. I mean, obviously, we know what Last of Us 2 is. Everyone's telling me Ghost of Tsushima is... Oh, it's similar to this. It's similar to this. I don't want to know that. I just want to play it and enjoy it. I don't want to know what it's similar to and what it's going to be like. Don't fucking... You know. Let me just play a game and enjoy it, please. There we go. Nice bridge. I just got to be careful I don't fall. I mean, I'm, I'm excited for both. They're both going to be interesting Sony exclusive releases, so... Papa I left iron in the chest with the desert stuff. Should be plenty. Thank you, Papa Bear. Yeah, cool. The more, the better. Okay. So at this point, we've got about two stacks of wood. I don't know how much wood it's going to take to make what we need. Keep going here. Just cut down as much as I can until these axes break, I guess. Corey and Mr. Papavera is working on resource gathering and uh, eventually he's going to work on improving these farms that we're doing. So he's going to help with that. But he's going to need five stacks of logs. Okay. Five stacks. Five fat stacks. Nice big stacks. Held together with rubber bands and shoved into your back jeans pocket. That's right. I always roll with fat stacks in my back jeans pocket. Actually, in reality, I haven't carried money on me in quite some time. 
Uh, I can't remember the last time I had cash money on me of any significant value. <clears throat> Papavera says he's stealing my resources for himself. But well, there you go. Papavera, this whole time, we thought that he's been helping. Instead, he's just been looting my world for himself. For his own selfish, evil purposes. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Evil purposes. Looting my world. His world had a shortage, so he's here to steal. Uh, Barack Obama just took me $5 and says, Are you going to buy the PS5 and Xbox Series X on launch? Are you looking forward to it? We talked about as much earlier on the stream, and what I said was if I had to choose between the two, I'd probably get the Xbox... Excuse me. I'd probably get the PS5 at this point, knowing what we know about the systems and the fact that Sony just seems to come out with the better exclusives. If I had to choose, but ideally... Once we get information about their releases, the cost of each system, whatever, hopefully I'll be able to get both and cover them both at launch. Much like I did with the Xbox One and the PlayStation 4, which was actually one of the best, uh, the best, uh, stuff that I've ever put out. Like people told me my coverage of those consoles was super entertaining and very informative, and they absolutely loved it. And, uh, they wanted to see it continue. So, hopefully I'll be able to afford both consoles this year. We'll see. Vincent, the, the Chin Gigante. What on earth? It's going to be $3. So, why are people hating on Papa Vera in the chat? It's because they're, they're trying to troll. They're trying to be silly and troll. It's not a big deal. No one's seriously hating on Papa Vera. Don't worry. Oh, time to sleep. I'm glad it says that. <clears throat> yes, I do think the new consoles will come out this year. It's already too set in stone. You got game developers who are already planning the release of their games for this year on those consoles. So they're counting on the revenue from it. You got Microsoft and Sony who are their entire like like base of how they're running their console business is based on those consoles releasing this year. The, the only thing I could foresee them not coming out this year is somehow the coronavirus actually physically holds up production of the units. Then I could see them getting delayed till 2021. But I really seriously doubt it because if not, the whole fourth quarter may be nothing because the whole fourth quarter was supposed to be the release of these consoles and games on them. What if nothing comes out? You know what I'm saying? Like, I really do think that those consoles will come out in time. I do. I don't think they're going to be delayed. All right, keep going here. I think I got one more axe after this one breaks. There it goes. The sound of an axe breaking is actually quite annoying, or any tool breaking. It's a pretty annoying sound, in my opinion. Okay. Okay. Oh, itchy. Itchy. Tasty. Here we go. What's a fact? Everyone's saying something is a fact and typing one to agree by. I missed out what the original statement was. That scared the shit out of me. Why was there a creeper hiding in the trees? Wow. Fucking explosion was loud, too. Probably reversing tisk tisk leaving behind uncut tops of trees. I'm doing it on purpose. 
Because then when those treetops die, mm. I can go collect all the resources, right? So now I can walk back this way, and where all these treetops are dying, I can grab all these saplings. See that? No work. Get a few bonus sticks. Bonus saplings. I even got a tasty apple. Look at that. Alright, I got one, two, three. Almost four stacks. I still need to keep going. Oh, man. Alright, over here there's a few more. Oh, let's see here. DSP menu says I should do PS5. Everything works out. Get a PC instead of an Xbox to get this, the same and a bigger library from Steam Access. That is that is true. Papa Bear says that in some trees, the logs are hiding in the leaves and they don't. That way, the, the, the tree will not decay. I'm trying to do, use my due diligence here to find all that, but you're. I mean, fair enough. You're right. There may be a few that are slipping through the cracks here. I guess that's a good point that um, DSP menu makes. If I get a, if I get a gaming. Oh, no. Look what I found. A huge glitch. Oh, wow. A terrible, horrible spawning glitch. That... It, oh, God. Yeah, that's bad. That's got to be a console issue. Damn, what happened? Ugh. Well, I definitely don't want to go there. If I go there, I'm going to die. I'm going to fall in. I'm going to lose all my shit, so... Let's not walk that direction, shall we? That's not good. Oh fuck. I wanna I'm gonna get this tree and I'm gonna start walking the other direction. I don't wanna die, man. Paradox is the mainstream of Minecraft has been very relaxing. I agree. It's been low stress, max chill. We had a lot of fun discussions today. Got some good good progress in all our projects. <clears throat> Look at that. That's terrible. Oh. A giant chunk, too. Because it even goes off into the distance, not loaded. That's bad. Imagine someone not paying attention, falling in there, and then they die because of it. <laughs> that ain't good. Okay. I somehow missed this tree. I don't know how. I must have walked right by it. Alrighty. <clears throat> Crabcock asks, do I sleep with a fan on? Because some people do so for the white noise. Um, It depends. Obviously, I'm not going to have a fan on if it's already cool and it would hinder me from further sleeping. Um, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Right now, it's a good temperature to keep the window cracked open so I could hear like noise outside, like ambient noise from outside, like the wind and stuff. Um, this one's still got wood in it. I think that got it. I think it was just a piece of wood there. I think that got it. The rest of this is just dying off slowly. So I'm going to replant here now. <clears throat> I didn't even get five stacks. This takes forever. See, this is what I mean. Like, this... I hate to say it. This is one of my most least liked parts about Minecraft is... You would think that... You'd be able to establish a way to just get these resources quickly, but they're, it's still time-consuming, you know? And it's annoying when I just would like to continue. With what I'm doing and have fun, instead I gotta take all this time to gather and replant and gather and replant. Here's Papa Vera wearing some nice armor. So that'll be a grove of trees there. probably replant more of this where I uh where I cut down you know what I could do I could also put some nice trees here and I could put them over because we're gonna build a bridge here eventually so I'll put some around 
the area here. Where were the unloaded trunks? Over here, Papa Vera. You gotta follow me over here. They're that direction over there. That's where I was just cutting down trees. They're behind the Parthenon over here. Off in that direction over here. Pa yeah, past the bridge. Here's the bridge. So, past here. Here he comes. Straight this way, across the bridge. Just go straight. You'll run right into the area. Just be careful. Don't fucking fall in, dude. <laughs> he wants to go see it. <laughs> okay. Oh, I gotta eat. Alright. So I'm gonna need more saplings. But I figure I'll just... I'll plant... Oh, shit. I didn't mean to do that. I'll plant what I got. Now I'm going to go over here. Perhaps I can find more. Maybe there's more, more of the treetop decay. Yeah, some of them are falling down right now. Cool. Nice. He says, they seem loaded to me, which is good. It's your end. Yeah, look. On my end, they're not. It's a big glitch. So he can see it, but I can't. Yeah, look. Oh my god, he's on it. See, I can't do I'll die. He's actually standing on it. Whoa. That's freaking weird. What's that? Is that a zombie down there? I think it's a zombie. Underground zombie. Yeah, that's fucking weird, dude. So on his end, it worked. You know why? Because I'm on Xbox One. I think he's playing on Windows 10 with crossplay. But Xbox One version must have a lot of issues. To have shit like that, that's bad. That's really bad. Well, I already fished once this stream. I don't think I need to fish again. Um, I still need to chop down more trees, though. What sucks is my axe is going to break. I brought three axes, it's not enough. Jesus. Frustrating. People are telling me I could probably step on those unloaded chunks and I won't die. Dude, I'm not fucking with that. Are you crazy? Are you out of your mind? There's no way I'm going over there and fucking with that. Oh, great. A creepy crawly spider. Fuck you. Oh, time to sleep? Alright, fair enough. Oh, well, let's see here. Crabcock Cheers says, have you ever played Terraria? There's a big update recently. Would you go back to it? I don't think so. I'm, I might own it, actually. I think that for an Indies Marathon at one point... Oh, thank you. You gave me another axe. Thank you, Papa Vera. I think that at one point... Um, I was going to kill it. Guy he slaughters it. Yeah, I think that at one point... I owned it. I think I bought it for an Indie Marathon that I was doing. But for whatever reason, I didn't play it during the Marathon. Because I'm pretty sure I never played it Terraria. I could be wrong. But I'm almost positive I never played it. I bought it, but never really never did anything with it. Wow, this thing's huge. I can't even reach it. Ah, oh, shit. Now I'm getting hungry. My wife is making us a, a Mexican bake tonight, which includes things such as refried beans, um, tomatoes, cheese. I think there's some chilies in there, like various things. And I am... Oh, chicken. Roasted chicken. So I'm pretty excited for it. I love it when she makes it. It tastes very good. And I can smell it cooking. And now I'm getting incredibly hungry right now. Like, super hungry. Because I can smell it. 
Rush, no. A uh, crap cock. Never played Rust. Never. I, I've heard of it. The name sounds familiar. But I've never, really never played Rust before. Ah, oh, shit. Stupid leaves hitting my head. Dude, how tall is this tree? This tree's crazy. It's insanely tall, dude. Well, I can't reach all that. I can't reach all that, especially when there's other trees that are right next to me that are much shorter. I'm not gonna go crazy trying to finish that one. All right, one more axe. This is the last one. This one's an iron axe, though, so it should last longer. Ooh. <clears throat> oh, God, Flintstones vitamins? I used to take those when I was a kid. I never... They didn't have gummy Flintstones when I was a kid. You had to get the hard, chewable ones that were like rocks, and they claimed they tasted like fruit. They did not taste like fruit. They tasted pretty nasty. But I ate those for years and years. I remember the, the commercials. We're Flintstones kids. Ten million strong and growing. We're Flintstones kids. Ten million strong. And the little girl would go, and going. I remember those commercials from the 80s. Crab Cock Cheered Against It. The Forest is one of the best survival games I ever played. Would you ever play that? Uh, I don't. Again, I don't know anything about it. Maybe eventually one day. The Forest. RBZ says, those were good, but the grape ones sucked. I hated all the flavors, but I ate them. Like, my parents made me take them. That was my multivitamin when I was a kid. They made me take the Flintstones vitamins. But more than likely, that was because there were no good vitamins. You know what I mean? Like, today, it's hilarious. Like, you get vitamins. You can get um, medicine. It all tastes like candy. Back then, all that shit tasted like ass. But I think it was done on purpose. They didn't want kids thinking it was candy and, like, overdosing. Like, can you imagine... And the kid just sat there eating a, a thing of fucking multivitamin gummies and overdosed on drugs and died because of it. You know? <laughs> that would not be good. No, what Tyler just said, you said your content is good and I hope you had a good weekend. Um, I had a pretty good weekend. It was fun on stream. You know, to, my weekend is not like everyone else's weekend. My weekend is, Oh my god. Dude, this is even worse. The closer I get, it disappears more. What is happening? I gotta get out of here. This thing is, is fucking weird. But, uh... Like I said, my weekend is not like everyone else. My weekend is nor like normal work. You know, it's actually... Tuesdays is considered my, my day off weekend, I guess you would say. Even though that's the day that I, I run my errands and do all that kind of busy work now. So, you know. Tis life. Tis life. Tis a busy life, but a good life. Yeah, Papa Vera, I get the feeling you're right. This relocking might fix that glitch. I think so. I think if I if I like were to leave and come back, it would probably load. But we're good for now. I'm only playing for another 25 minutes for this session, so no reason to like be quitting out now or anything. I'll just grab these sticks, grab the ceilings, everything I find here. Just grab it. Okay, let's go back. Let's see if there's anything else. How many saplings do I have now? Only five. I need a ridiculous amount. I need 64 saplings. I don't know if I ever collected them. I might have. If I go to my, my uh, boxes over at the spawn room, there might actually be saplings in those boxes. Well, that sucked, but I'm fine because I have fall protection. Yeah, I'm fine. I really can't take much damage from falling, which is good. But it sucks now that I have to fucking get myself out of here. <laughs> How annoying. Ugh. I guess I go up this stairwell. Look, it's like a staircase. Well, I'm glad that I brought a lot of uh, pickaxes.
fucking stupid, annoying shit. I guess I could just dig and then, and then build my way a stack up. Okay. See, I used to freak out about stuff like that, but now I know it ain't that big of a deal. I just, you know, it's a tedious few minutes of getting enough rocks to, to climb up here or whatever, but I should be okay. Probably enough right now. All right. There we go. All that because I missed the bridge. Here's why I missed it. Because grass grew on it. So it blended in and I didn't see the bridge. I fell. <clears throat> Alright. Crabcock Cheese, I hope it's not too personal. What does your wife do for a living? It's public knowledge. Because of the legal proceeding I went through in the past few months, she works at a, a grocery store in a clothing department. It's one of those grocery stores that has, like, multiple departments. You have home goods, gardening, clothing, everything you can think of. Hardware. And she works in the clothing department there. So she's considered an essential worker because she works at a grocery store despite the fact that she doesn't actually have anything to do with the groceries. <clears throat> okay. Well, the good news is I got my five stacks. The bad news is uh, I didn't get nearly enough saplings, which sucks ass. See, this is going to be the promise. Every time that I chop down a tree... Replant. Well, if I replant, I wasted all the saplings that I was trying to gather, which was the point of me chopping down the trees, right? <laughs> anyway, I guess what we can do now, we can do some crafting. We can see if that glass finished smelting. We can see if we can craft um, at least some of this walling and fencing that we need. Get some of the work done in these last uh, 20 minutes or so of my stream. Well, an anonymous gifter gifted us up to Nick Recchietta. Well, congratulations to Nick Recchietta. Rec Actually, it's... Ricada. I thought it was Ricketta. It looks like it's Ricketta. Paul versus he thinks I'm good on saplings. I'll get more when I make the farm. Let's see. Oh, guess what? I am good on saplings. Look at that. I was good all along. I had them. So, I don't have to worry about that. That's good. Put these uh, apples away. I need 1.5 stacks of the seeds. Guess what? Do I have them? Wait, what kinds of seeds? Yeah, I got them. I'm good. So I got the seeds. I got the saplings. I'm almost positive I got the redstone. Oh, I got 60 here. It says I need 64. I swear I have more than that. Maybe I... Oh, yeah, there we go. So here we go. Let's combine. By the way, there was an axe over here. I don't know why. I'll grab it now. There was an axe over there all along. Okay. That's random. Um, let's see here. I'm going to need a lot of buckets. But the iron I left over at the other place. Um, so sadly I can't do that. But the iron that I have I can craft buckets with later. When I go back to the village. And then I got to fill those with lava and water. 6.25 stacks of anything, whether it's rock or sand. I'm pretty sure I, I'll have that. Um, One redstone block. I'm pretty sure I have redstone blocks, but again, I think those are back at the other place. I don't think that I have those here. I know I had redstone blocks. I just don't remember where I put them. Oh, it's nighttime? Okay, I didn't even realize that. Papa Bear, I had no idea. Sleep. No, there's not more Minecraft tonight, Frog in a Tuxedo. Tonight is Super Mario Maker 2. For the next several weeks, it will be Minecraft on the main stream. Okay? So, do we get our glass? Do we get 64 glass blocks? Absolutely we did. Cool. Here's what we'll do. Let's place some of this in storage. So that way, 
my inventory is not all screwed up because I'm gonna need space uh, to craft some of this other stuff. See that? Let me get rid of these for now. Yeah, I'm gonna need space, so I'll just empty this out for now. All right. So we gotta make fencing, and we've gotta make uh, wooden walls. This is five stacks of wooden walls. So first of all, let's go ahead and do this. Wooden walls. What is that made of? I don't know what the wooden wall is made of. How do you make it? I don't know. Maybe you need sticks? No, it doesn't look like it. I don't know how to do this. Someone named Darkside Phil is awesome said, Hey, what's going on? Darkside Phil is awesome. Thirteen fence. So let's do that. One, two, three, four. There we go. I got thirteen fence. That's done. But it says five stacks of like a wooden wall post. I don't know how to do that. I don't know how to make that. At all. See, Papa Bear, I don't know if that's what this is. It says five stacks of some kind of a wooden post. What is that? Is that the, a wall or is that something else? I'm not sure what that is. I don't want to waste resources if I, you know. I also need to make a bunch of switches and shit. Wood fence. So five stacks of wood fence and another 13 pieces of fence. Gotcha. Almost got five stacks. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, now we got more than enough. I did, I did too much actually, but that's okay. That's all I needed the wood for, I think. Yeah, five stacks of fencing and then thirteen extra fences. So I have enough. Let's put those away. Good. Oops. Blow it up. One, two, three, four, five. And then we'll just do the extras. Okay. Good. It's going well. Thank you for asking. TSP Acolyte. All these names. All right. Three stacks of... Is that dirt? I think it's three stacks of dirt. But I don't know if I have three stacks of dirt. Not that it's not easy to get. I'm just saying you know, if I had it already, it would be easier. There's one stack of dirt. Two stacks. Three stacks of dirt. Okay. So I got the fencing. I got the stacks of dirt. I got the glass. Two. I'm going to need two chests. Um, I have more than enough chests at the village to break down. So I'm not going to worry about that. I got tons of them there. Five hoppers. I don't know how to make a hopper. I'm going to assume you need cobblestone. But I don't have a clue what the other ingredient in a hopper would be. So I'm definitely going to need some guidance on that one. Because I don't know how to do that. I have more cobblestone back at the village, by the way. So I guess maybe all these, these ones that are made with stone, I should probably make it the village. I don't know how to make a repeater either. Uh, it looks like I need some wool in order to make beds. And I'm pretty sure I have wool. Read the crafting book from the crafting table. There's a crafting book? 
Like, there's a thing called a crafting book in this game? I didn't know that. For some reason, I don't have wool. How do I not have wool? What the hell did I use it on? I know I had saved up a lot of wool at one point. I guess I used it all? Really? Do I have to go shear my sheep? Maybe I have to go shear my sheep. Do I have a pair of shears? Oh, for the love of God. Oh, no. Everything's falling apart here at the end. I don't even have a pair of shears. Oh. I don't know how to make a pair of shears. Polish Frog says, I remember you, when you said, or you when you thought you were, you were afraid to stream Minecraft during the day because you run out of stuff to do. Now there's too many things. Dude, there's always a million things to do in Minecraft. You know, that was me. That was old, uninformed Phil, you know, who didn't under, really understand Minecraft that well. And now, holy shit. You know, there's so much you could do in Minecraft. It's insane. I don't even see shears, dude. Two iron? I don't have any iron. <laughs> it seems to me like I can't do any of the stuff I need to do here. He says there's a green book. Oh, is he mean this? No, it doesn't do anything. Yeah, there's there's no green book. Not for me, anyway. I don't know. Yeah, it seems like I can't really uh, do anything else. I might have to take these resources to the village. I need iron for this. I, yeah, I need wool. I need cobble. I don't have any of those things. All right, so here's what I'll do then. I'm going to take this stuff I want to take with me. So I want the dirt, I want the fence, I want... Oh, there's the iron! Oh, I had it all along. Alright, that's good. Oh, the seeds and the sapling. Oh, I need more seeds. How many do I need? One and a half stacks of seeds. I'll just take two to be sure I have enough. That. I'm gonna see if I can make the shears and get some wool. Um, none of oh, oh, there's my redstone. I was wondering where it was. Well, now I know. All right, I don't think I need any of this other stuff. Oh, the gla the glass. Never mind. I do need the glass. Okay, can I make the shears? Let me go shave my sheep. Time to shave the sheep and get some wool to make some beds. There we go. Did I put a back gate? I did. Cut the multicolor wool. Oops. Sorry. I thought I had more sheep. I guess not. I don't even want to know what's going on with these cows right now. Yeah, I thought I had more sheep, but I, I don't have that many. I swear I had way more than this, didn't I? I swear I did. I wonder what happened. Oh. Some of them were like spontaneously regrowing. 
I don't think I need too much wool. Papa Vera Trudy said the crafting recipes are the GUI to the left of the crafting area. There's a toggle switch. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't see it. I tried. And I was toggling, but I couldn't see it. I don't know. I'm just an idiot. Papa Vera is sleeping. All right. Let me go sleep. I'm coming, Papa Vera. We're almost done with this week's stream, by the way. We got about eight minutes left. Do I have enough to make beds now? Three wooden blocks and three wool makes one bed, and I need nine to eleven beds. So I just need to go grab a uh, I'm going to need more wool, but I need to grab wooden blocks. <clears throat> or make wooden blocks, I guess I should say. Five beds. I need more. I'm out of wool. I need more wool. Alright. <laughs> so loud. Cool, the wool grows back so quickly. I like that. You click on the magnifying glass, it shows you all recipes, and you scroll down to find what you need. The ones with red, you don't have the ingredients for. Yes, I did see that. But again, I don't think it had the stuff that I needed. I don't know. I don't know. Did I just chill? Chill for a couple more minutes until the wool comes back? It seems to grow back fairly quickly if they're eating. Ugh. Oh, crap. Jeb, would you would you relax, Jeb? I don't want your multicolor wool for a bed. He's staring at me. He's creeping me out. Why are you doing this? Why are you, ah? Why are you in my face? I need to go shave this cheek. Okay. Yeah, this gives big cross platform. Oh, death proof. I think for a while, wasn't it like sometime, was it last year? They added the cross-platform uh, compatibility? I think so. I got one, two, three, four, five. I need nine to eleven, so I need to keep shaving these guys. Proverbs, redstone stuff is near the bottom. Okay, I don't know what redstone stuff I'm actually crafting. <clears throat> Maybe the contraptions, like the, uh, repeater? I don't even know what a repeater is. I've never heard of it. I don't think I've never seen it. All right, everyone. So, at this opportunity, since we're about to sign off for this week, I would like to say thank you guys for a fun and chill Minecraft stream. First of all, obviously, Papa Vera, who writes the guides, who contributed, was part of the actual multiplayer of the session this week. That was really fun. I hope you guys enjoyed the... Extended Minecraft fun. We we did a big progress there with the Greco-Roman stuff, and now we're working on this. Uh, we're working on this villager uh, spawner, which I guess we're gonna continue with next week. Okay, it looks to me like what we're gonna be doing is just a lot of resource gathering. So probably a ton more resource gathering next week, and then actually starting to work on building this thing, which would be pretty cool. Um. So, thank you guys very much for all of your support. Thank you very much for everything today. It was a really great stream. I hope you guys had fun. I had fun. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to adjourn. All right? So, FYI, Papa Vera, I'm assuming what's going to happen is you're going to get kicked from the world when I quit. I doubt they're going to let you hang out in my world once I'm gone. So, 
Thanks, guys, for watching. Let's see what happens. I'm going to save and quit here, okay? Save and quit. I'm assuming he's going to get booted. Huh. <laughs> So, I'm going to upload all this this uh, gameplay right now to DSP Gaming. Same time, same place next week. We continue on right from where we left off this week. A relaxing stream where I'll be gathering resources, building stuff up. Um, and we're going to start work on this mob spawner. Okay, guys? Thank you. Good stream. Thank you for your support. Um.